China has just shocked the world with the reveal of a next-generation fighter jet unlike anything we've ever seen. This futuristic aircraft can fly from Beijing to New York in under two hours reaching speeds once considered physically impossible, but that's not the most astonishing part. This jet can do it silently. No roar, no boom. Just pure, undetectable flight making. It potentially the stealthiest warplane ever created. So how fast is this mysterious aircraft? And more importantly, how did China crack the decades-old barrier of the sonic boom, something no other country has solved? Stay with us as we uncover the secrets behind China's game-changing superjet featuring a revolutionary silencer that could rewrite the rules of air combat forever. Asterisk. In October 2024, the Chinese space transportation company, officially known as Beijing Lingkong Tianjin Technology Co., successfully tested the Yongying prototype a supersonic jet unlike anything previously made. During its test flight, the aircraft reached a speed of Mach 4, which is approximately 3,690 miles per hour. As fast as the now-retired Concorde, this breakthrough demonstrated that ultra-fast travel could dramatically reduce flight times without compromising efficiency. The test focused on several key performance aspects, including aerodynamics, heat resistance, and flight control. Flying at such high speeds generates immense heat and pressure, requiring extremely durable materials to withstand these forces. Advanced composite materials enabled the Yongying to remain stable and durable. Even during high-speed flight, one of the jet's standout features is its vertical takeoff and landing VTOL capability, allowing it to operate from various airport settings without needing long runways. In addition, it is designed to cruise at an altitude of approximately 65,600 feet, well above that of conventional airliners. This altitude helps the aircraft avoid turbulence and bypass congestion in busy airspace, improving both efficiency and passenger comfort. Much of the Yongying's exceptional performance comes from its cutting-edge propulsion system. Space Transportation developed a powerful pulse detonation ramjet engine called the Gindu Yun, or Gindu 400. Unlike conventional jet engines that rely on steady combustion, this engine uses rapid bursts of fuel detonation, making it more efficient and allowing higher speeds while consuming less fuel. It's also optimized for high-altitude flight, where thinner air improves efficiency and reduces drag making. Supersonic travel more practical and cost-effective. Another major advantage of the Yongying is its high lift to drag ratio. Engineers achieve this through an aerodynamic shape and lightweight. Composite materials that reduce air resistance and maintain flight stability at extreme speeds. The aircraft's special heat-resistant materials carbon composites and high-strength alloys protect it from the intense heat generated at Mach 4. Furthermore, the jet features an advanced noise reduction system aimed at minimizing the sonic boom, which was one of the major drawbacks of the Concorde and a key factor in its retirement. The Yongying's capabilities far exceed those of the Concorde, the legendary Anglo-French supersonic jet that operated from 1976 to 2003. While the Concorde was revolutionary, it was eventually phased out due to its high operating costs, noise restrictions, and environmental concerns. It could cross the Atlantic at Mach 2 in under four hours impressive, but still not fast or efficient enough for widespread adoption. In contrast, the Yongying is twice as fast and is emerging as a frontrunner in the revival of supersonic air travel, thanks to breakthroughs in propulsion and materials. China aims to make supersonic flights quieter, more affordable, and environmentally sustainable. Other companies are also pushing toward the return of supersonic passenger planes. For instance, the American firm Boom Supersonic is developing the Overture, a jet expected to reach Mach 2.2 and restart transatlantic supersonic flights by 2029. While Overture represents a significant step forward, the Yongging's greater speed and efficiency make it the most ambitious player in the new supersonic race. Yet, challenges remain before it can be used for commercial aviation. One of the main issues is the environmental impact. Supersonic jets tend to emit more pollutants than regular commercial planes, making the development of cleaner fuel alternatives crucial. Space transportation is addressing this by researching eco-friendly fuels and next-gen propulsion systems to lower carbon emissions. Another concern is noise pollution. Breaking the sound barrier creates a loud sonic boom, which has 
led to restrictions on overland supersonic flights. To address this, the company is developing advanced noise reduction technologies that may allow the Yongying to fly over populated areas without disruption. Safety is another top priority. Flying at Mach 4 presents unique risks, requiring extensive testing and robust safety systems. Space transportation is investing in high-tech flight control systems, emergency response mechanisms, and advanced cabin pressurization. Their goal is to make supersonic travel as safe for safer than today's standard airliners. The company plans to continue engine testing through the next few years, aiming to launch a full-sized passenger version of the Yongying by 2027 if successful. This jet could revolutionize global travel, drastically reducing flight times and making distant destinations more accessible than ever. A major goal for the Yongying project is commercial viability. In the past, supersonic travel was prohibitively expensive and limited to elite passengers. However, with new advances in efficiency and aerodynamics, there's hope that high-speed travel could become affordable to a broader range of travelers. Space transportation envisions a future where supersonic flights are not just a luxury but a routine part of air travel. This project also carries huge geopolitical weight. China's rapid aerospace advancements demonstrate its intention to compete directly with Western aviation giants like Boeing and Airbus. Leading in supersonic technology could give China a powerful role in shaping the future of commercial aviation. Beyond supersonic travel, China has achieved another significant breakthrough. In hypersonic flight, it recently revealed that its newly developed Injunan Oblique detonation engine ODE, has reached operational speeds of up to Mach 16. This engine runs on standard aviation, kerosene, and has undergone extensive testing at the JF-12 shock tunnel in Beijing. The JF-12 is one of the world's most advanced facilities for simulating hypersonic flight conditions. It allowed scientists to evaluate the engine's performance under extreme pressures and velocities, managed by the Chinese Academy of Sciences. The facility played a vital role in testing the oblique detonation waves sustained by RP-3 jet fuel. This is a major leap forward, as achieving stable combustion at such extreme speeds has long been one of hypersonic propulsion's greatest challenges. Remarkably, the engine demonstrated combustion rates a thousand times faster than those in traditional scramjet engines. The engine's operational range Mach 6 to Mach 16 means it could potentially reach speeds up to 12,276 miles per hour. However, the current test limitations allowed travel at Mach 9 for only about 492 feet due to power restrictions at the tunnel. Despite this short window, scientists gained critical data on ignition, combustion stability, and fuel efficiency. One of the ODE's major innovations is its use of shockwaves to sustain combustion. Unlike scramjets, which often suffer flameouts at high speeds, this engine turns shockwaves into a performance advantage. A small 5 mm bump in the combustion chamber helped trigger self-sustaining detonations, drastically improving thrust and efficiency. The engine is also incredibly compact, and lightweight its combustion chamber is 85% shorter than a scramjet's, reducing weight and enabling longer-range missions. This weight savings opens the door to greater fuel loads, passenger capacity, or advanced military payloads. Scientists also tackled a major ignition delay problem common to hydrocarbon fuels like RP3 by pre-compressing the fuel to a temperature of 6 380 degrees Fahrenheit, they were able to significantly shorten ignition time. Wing-shaped struts were added to improve fuel distribution and ensure stable combustion even at record-breaking speeds. These innovations create a more powerful, reliable engine that could soon power a new class of hypersonic aircraft. China's long-term goal is to develop a Mach 16-capable aircraft by 2030, a move that would redefine global mobility. A flight from Beijing to New York, currently a 13-hour journey, could be completed in under an hour. The implications are massive not just for commercial aviation, but also for cargo delivery emergency response, and global logistics. Hypersonic technology could allow for near-instantaneous medical evacuations, rapid disaster relief, and previously unthinkable levels of connectivity. Militarily, Mach 16 aircraft would be nearly impossible to intercept, giving China the ability to launch ultra-fast missiles and drones for precision strikes and stealth recon. 
This could redefine modern warfare. Unlike other nations, China's use of standard jet fuel for detonation propulsion offers a major edge in cost and deployment, but challenges remain especially extreme heat at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If solved, China could revolutionize both military and commercial aviation.